Okay, here we are. Um, <clears throat> I got it powered up. I got it connected to the PC. And I'm using a key span. And from here, what I'm going to show you guys, what I did to get this thing all set up. Okay. Right now, we just powered on. And then I went through all the, the times, the, the time zones and location and positioning of Polaris. But the most important part, when I start this video, um, we are going to be starting right here at the utility function, okay? I don't, I don't know, you can't see that, but here's the point. If you're going to get this to work with Stellarium or your PhD guiding, um, this utility function through the um, Orion's sync scan is going to allow you to um, control your your mount and how we control the mount is with EQ mod ASCOM drivers so uh, let me get this thing all set up and ready now if I want to control my mount through um, Sterellium okay I go into the utilities of sync scan and I'm going to hit the enter Okay, there's, I'm going to scroll past, show position, show information, identity, park scope, and PAE, GPS, and PC direct mode. Now, these are the things that we're going to be using with PC direct mode. Now, PC direct mode, within the hand controller, is enabled now. It's, that means... <clears throat> When PC direct mode, I'm serially connected to my uh, T-SPAN with the RJ10 connector to the USB, okay? Okay, so that's that. We all know that. Okay, that's what PC direct mode is. You're going to need PC direct mode when you're using the EQ mod ASCOM drivers. I'm sorry that doesn't come into view. I apologize. It's just, uh, it's just not showing up as bright as it should so can you, can you see that pc direct mode is enabled to get out of it we just hit the escape key which is right there okay so if i want to use if i want to control my telescope with uh with sterellium i'll just hit the escape key make sure pc direct mode is not enabled okay i'm going to launch sterellium And right now, COM6 is available uh, in my pro uh, to use this program to control my mount. So I want to go into Configure Telescope and go into Configure, right? Right now I'm using Serial Port right there at the top options. <clears throat> Make this really quick here. And there is COM6, and what I'm using here for device model under Sterellium for the Orion, um, for the Orion Series Pro with hand controller um, sync scan, you want to choose this option right here, Sky Watcher Sync Scan AZ Go 2. So here we are, we're going to connect to it. And this is really totally different from using Celestron drivers. It's a whole new bowl of wax. Um, <clears throat> okay, as you can see right there, um, you can see that's where the telescope is pointed right now at the North Pole. Now, if I wanted to point to Andromeda, right, we all know using the Celestron way, but on EQ mod, we're not using EQ mod drivers at all. So we're using direct connect through. We're using the. Holy crap. I'm not using any direct PC connect from right now, so I'll do a control one. And right now, as you can see, it's moving. You can hear it. I don't have PC direct mode enabled. Okay, we are pointing at Andromeda. As you can see it right there, Andromeda. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty basic. So now, when we get into guiding like PhD or using your Sequence Generator Pro, um, we're going to be using PC direct mode on, enabled. Okay. 
You can see it moving, right? 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 Okay. It's back at the North Pole. And uh, as you can see here, PC Direct mode is not enabled. So, let's get out of this. All right, this is using a Sirius Pro Doty team out with a sync scan. Now, within PHD, right? Don't give Chuck my secrets here before he gets one. I'm just joking. Okay, so what we want to do here, okay, if I want to use PHD, I go to my CAN control here on the sync scan, I'm going to hit the enter button to enable PC direct mode. Okay, it doesn't want to come in focus for some reason, it's just maybe it's too dark. So right now it says PC direct mode is enabled, press escape to exit. Okay. Now I go to PHD here, right, just to make sure it works. And what it will do is run the toolbox. <clears throat> and then here, as I told you, the available port that I have is COM6. So you bring this up, it'll bring up the uh, ASCOM toolbox thingy, whatever. Well, not thingy, but configurator, I guess. Um, click that little thing, right? It found nothing. I hope I'm not lying. <laughs> but but anyway, it, it, it finds it because it's already in use, right? So there's no use of doing that fine with that t with this binoculars right there. So it already it it launched with no problem. And I'm gonna hit the OK button here, and I'm gonna hit connect. And see that it connected. If it would have connected, it would it would have bombed out with an error saying timeout blah 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 so I'm using PhD connected to my mount with guiding where, where it's able to send pulse commands to the uh, Orion Orion Sirius Pro okay we are done there now so now I've demonstrated this okay so let's see how it works with the uh, sequence generator Pro I'm going to launch Sequence Generator Pro. And um, from my configuration, Tool Manager, I love Sequence Generator Pro. I'm not even sponsored. Holy crap, you know? Okay, so go to your telescope. And for this particular mo model, for the uh, Sirius Pro, a Z E Q G whatever. God, all these names are it, it's just mind boggling. Okay, so for the telescope driver, I'm gonna be using the EQ EQ mod H E Q five six. That's the one you want to use. Okay. So that's right now is saved as my default profile to launch. Okay, so let's say that I want to open up, uh, let me see, I uh, challenged Chuck to NGC 7318. He said he was chicken, and he wanted me to do it first. I'm like, yeah, right. He's got that micro focus or moonlight focus. He can sit back and relax. But I got to tell you something. Nothing is more finesse and cha uh, rewarding when you can do it manually. So uh, I, I think manual focus is a plus. Okay, um, let me just blow the mosaic for NGC 7000. And what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate the uh, slewing of this. Um, now it's going to say my Celestron driver right there, right? Um, I'm going to select the EQ56. I'm going to connect to the mount. Da da! See that? And disconnect it. Let me click on that again. You can see it is connected. Me trying to hit that find find a com port is not going to do us any good. It'll bomb out, saying nothing. So, um, click the OK to get rid of that window. Okay, let's connect to it, right? And for sakes and purposes, let me go into the uh, target list. It is connected, as you can see there. And I'm going to say slew, right? So right now we're going to go to NGC 7000, which is the American Nebula.
I click it, and let's see, exclude the target, I'm going to say yes. Ta-da! It works. It, it's a beautiful charm. Look at that. Not only that, it's kind of quiet. I do love the way how this belt-driven mount really works. Now, my extension pier for this um, hasn't came in. Okay? Hasn't even came in yet. So, it's like 48 inches, so it'll be... It'll stand about, about five, five, almost six feet tall, maybe. And uh, I should be able to... Um, get some good angles to shoot out above, above the skies above me because this this neck is too short this is uh, meant for, in this configuration it's meant to go out to the field okay so we've proven that it can um, uh, slow so that's good that means SG Pro is working just fine you can see right there okay so now I'm done for the day for this example here uh, what we learned from this video is through the SYN scan um, using the HEQ56 driver uh, selection um, with not, without PC Direct mode we can use Therelium but if we want to do guiding or control the mount with, with astro, astrophotography applications we want to be in PC Direct mode connect and for that reason we'll demonstrate by parking the mount park mount. Beautiful, huh? All right, there you have it, boys and girls. This is a demonstration of the Orion Sirius Pro. Um, using the synth scan hand controller with, with for Orion. I'm done with this. I can now get out of uh, PC Direct mode, and now my application for Sterilium can control the mount or your Safari or your um, Nebulosity. Okay, it works now um, by using the hand controller within PC Direct mode or not PC Direct mode. So. Thank you very much, and I wish you all clear skies. Ta-da! All right. All right, Chuck. You said not to buy no more hardware, right? You care about your telescope, you're going to need this.